Hey guys, Nate Best again, this time back with a vlog. So I haven't vlogged in a while. I don't think I've, I've vlogged since uh, since Los Angeles. So I thought I'd do this video because I didn't really have much else planned for my video this week. We are on our way to Ikea, which I'm sure a lot of you people have heard of. Basically, I need a computer desk because I've been editing on a laptop on my lap and on a coffee table for the last however long I've been doing videos and it's not the most comfortable way to do it. My arms get all cramped up, my legs fall asleep because I'm usually kicking my feet up on the table. It's just not, not a good situation I'm in right now. So, I know, first world problems, right? Anyway, we are now on our way over to Ikea. It's in Burlington, which is where I used to live. It's the next town over. And uh, we're going to look at some desks and I might get you feedback on what one I should get. So, we'll let you know how things go. My wife really doesn't like driving sometimes. She gets very frustrated with certain people. But uh, anyway, we're almost there. One thing I wanted to mention too, that one thing I love about living in this area is that we don't, we live in the Toronto area, I think you call it, I think it's technically part of the QTA, which is the greater Toronto area. But the nice thing about Hamilton and Burlington is that it's got that, it's got that city vibe. But, uh, oh, by the way, there's where we're going. It's Ikea. See, right there. Sir, please stay in your lane. Angel doesn't like the driver. Apparently they're getting in What are you doing? I love watching Angel yell at drivers. Anyway, what I was trying to say is the one thing I love about Burlington and Hamilton is that it does have a great city vibe, but it's not super big city vibe. And there's a lot of um, like parks and sort of foresty areas like we found like I don't know if you've seen my drone videos lately, but there's some great places in the Hamilton area where you can uh, just go out for hiking or go out for camping and do all the cool outdoorsy stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice area to live in. Anyways, we have just gotten to Ikea and we're going to take a look and see what, uh, what kind of furniture we can find. Are you excited to go to Ikea? Yes, just pray for some good parking. What's your favorite part about Ikea? Mm, the food. I knew you were going to say that. I knew she was going to say that. Ikea, if you've ever been to an Ikea before, they have uh, they have a cafeteria in it. The food is relatively cheap compared to like a fast food or a restaurant, but it's so good. I forgot that it's Sunday and everybody else is here too. It's a rainy, cold day. What's that? It's a rainy, cold day. It's True. Like, yeah. Nobody else wants to do anything else. Stole the spot from the gray car. Nice. <laughs> That's insane. Look at how tiny this one is. Oh, yeah, that's small. Yeah. That might be actually. Is that considered a kid's desk or an adult desk? No, it's considered an adult desk. Okay. Well. Yeah, it, it can just, go either way. I feel like it's just a smaller. I just. Oh yeah, I guess I can. Okay. I thought like. Totally. <laughs> it all depends on the chair you use too, right? True. Yeah. True. We also have our table bar over there, which is customized 
DIY kind of table setting. Okay. So um, you can pick your tabletop and your legs and how you want to customize it as well. Where do so I go to? Do, where do I go do that? This is all this corner over here. Okay. So, so as you can see, all the tabletops are in the corner, so you can pick your color, size, so on and so forth. And then the legs are kind of along that wall. And then you have the option of getting drawers as well instead of legs. So I can D my Y. I like that. You know what I could do? If I'm getting two of these, I could do one with a deep one and then one with a the shallower ones. Yeah. That makes more sense. Now, what what color should I do? Should I do white? white drawers and a black tabletop, black drawers and white tabletop, or all white or all dark? I would do white drawers and black top. I'd be inclined to do all white. If you want to. Okay, so I think this is this basically the kind of setup that I want. Black and white chair, white drawers, white desk, two of these Alex drawers, black placemat, and then a clear mat for the chair to swirl. I think that'll look pretty sick. That's the list of what we're getting. Yeah, he's able to get under the car. <laughs> most of it the only thing we didn't get was the desktop so I'm gonna have to come back another day on my own time and get that so but overall relatively successful trip put everything in the car we're gonna go back in and we're gonna get some food because we're both freaking starving six and a half hours later <laughs> So, we just finished eating. We got most of the stuff that we needed for the desk, which is fantastic. I can't wait to assemble that. Um, I'm really gonna enjoy this new desk once it's all completed. Unfortunately, because I don't have a desktop, I probably won't be able to, obviously, well, I definitely won't be able to use it today. It'll probably, I'll have to come back tomorrow or Tuesday and pick it up. But the good news is we got pretty much everything that we needed otherwise. Um, we are gonna go to Best Buy because we have to pick up, I wanted to pick up a power bar, but I'm not gonna pick up one at Ikea only because I wanna make sure it's a good quality one. I don't really wanna mess around when it comes to power bars because of the electrical current and stuff like that. But that's one more thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna try and assemble what I can hopefully tonight. And uh, yeah, I might even be able to get this vlog up tomorrow. So, my battery's about to die. Unfortunately, I can't vlog much more than this, but the good news is we went to Best Buy, we picked up a new power bar for the desk setup, as well as I got a Gorillapod. You can see that you are now on a Gorillapod. So yeah, I got that today. So I'm actually quite excited about that because now I can get a better shot of myself in for when I'm vlogging, and tripod. this tripod also works really well for uh, setting up my camera in less than flat regular surfaces so thumbs up for that uh, speaking of thumbs up if you like this video please give me some thumbs up love wife and I are gonna go into Starbucks we are gonna go see a movie we're gonna drink some coffee go see a movie and then we'll get everything home um, I probably won't get anything assembled today I'm gonna try and get this video up tonight 
And yeah, I love you all. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, thumbs up love, and I'll see you later. crush the light bulbs by the way shout out to Christina for all the help today you're freaking awesome you got us everything we needed